Hello, everybody. What is going on? Today, we are completing a milestone for me and this channel. And this is uh, the final video, or the this is the final uh, update on Goblin. Uh, the B&M Hyper Coaster, that was my first coaster designing a, a complete, or a, a full custom support structure for the entire layout. Now, if you haven't watched parts one and two, pause this video. Go watch those other videos, and uh, they will be linked uh, down below. Please watch them, uh, so you can get up to speed, and then come back to this video and finish watching uh, this video, so you can get the final product. And, um, well, I think this is probably one of the most... Uh, one of the most amazing uh, roller coasters that I have built in, in plant. Gosh, I keep hiccuping. I think this is one of the best roller coasters that I've ever built in Planet Coaster. And I know I say that about a lot of my creations, but I love my creations. And I really do. I love my layouts. And How have you guys been? How was everyone's Christmas? Uh, as the day I'm recording this, it's the day after Christmas at and it's ten seventeen at night. How have you all been? Good. I'm glad to hear it. So. This roller coaster has been extremely time consuming. I know I've said that before. And well, it's true. This is the only roller coaster that's taken me more than uh, 3 hours to build. Like I've never I've never built uh, custom supports before. And they're not particularly difficult. They're just time consuming and require a lot of patience. So, they're not something that. Custom supports are not something that you're going to get done in an hour. Like, that's just not going to happen. So there's just. Uh, there are so many pieces that you need to place. And, and well. It's not difficult. It's not necessarily stressful. It's just time consuming. And, well, you need the patience for that. Yep. <sighs> I do plan on doing custom supports for future roller coasters and future projects. And actually, I'm probably going to do custom supports for almost all my roller coasters. I mean, obviously, I'm going to build a lot less coasters, but probably going to end up with an even better product than what I was getting before. Yeah. And uh, in turn, I hope you guys... Uh, I hope you guys uh, really, really turn out for these videos. Uh, is there time consuming to make? Like they're rather time consuming. I I keep saying time con I I say time consuming a lot. Time consuming. Time consuming. Time consuming. Time consuming. Well, they are. It is. Planet Coaster is a. 
it's a game that requires a lot of commitment for a time. It's not hard to be it's not it's not hard to be good at the game because there's no Well, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. There are no standards for what makes you good at this game. Like you can be any skill level, you can pick up the game and or you can just pick up the game and be good at it. If it's um, if you're if you is build what you want to build, what in this game you're good at the game. Like don't I've had people tell me me that since my roller coasters don't look realistic and they're not good at the game and send or I'm not good at the game and since uh, their um, coasters are more realistic uh, that they're better at the game uh, that's a that's a bunch of nonsense what bullshit people like that's that is not true because again there are is no way to to measure how good good you are at this game it's a sandbox game Much like how there is no way to measure how good you are at something like The Sims. Again, it's a sandbox game. If you do what you want to with the, with these sandbox games, then you're good at the game. Now, if you if you're not quite satisfied with the your works, um, or if you, um, there's something you want to do better. Don't don't think of it as a, as you're bad at the game. That's that's not true. That's just not true. I mean, I mean, I wish that I wish that that I could do scenery better. Or that 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 I could do theming better, but I wouldn't consider myself bad at bad at the game. Like again, but then again, I also don't go for Disney level theming, like. So therefore, in my opinion. I am. I build um, pretty much exactly what I want to build, or it achieves ex pretty much exactly what I, or I achieve pretty much exactly what I want to achieve. So, although I see some room for improvement, I, I don't think I'm bad at the game, and you guys shouldn't either. No one's bad at this game. All right, motivational little pep talk is over. Uh, you know, part of me is think, part of me is thinking, um, what if I created a park uh, that was just themed and or well. I say themed with air quotes, uh, quote unquote themed. Uh, to, um, or uh, I guess I shouldn't say themed, but inspired by, inspired by Spider-Man characters, or, or Marvel characters, like, uh, but mostly focus on Spider-Man. Like, I, I think I could probably make a park out of that. I mean, I, I don't know how to. Like again, I wouldn't necessarily be able to do a ton of um, theming because I am not very skilled at the theming. Maybe once I get better at, at theming, I can do, I can make an attempt at this park. I'm gonna keep a note on this, on this idea. Dear Lord. This is a long video, 20 minutes, so holy crap. 
I don't know if I'm going to be talking the, the entire time in, in this video. And I mean, or at least doing a voiceover like this. Uh, I might just leave some of the game audio. High, pe high pitched to sped up and squeaky audio that was recorded on an HP Omen 15 and Logitech gaming, gaming headphones from Best Buy. Great quality sound. And yeah, that's what you're listening to. I'm thinking that, well, I'm thinking that I'm going to use some of the Christmas Christmas money I received in this year and uh, and use that to get a a better mic to get a much better microphone. And I mean, uh, I'm definitely going to do it. I'm just trying to figure out which uh, microphone. I'm doing my research now. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go to Best Buy to buy it. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, what's the best microphone uh, for less than $100? That, or what's the best computer microphone for less than $100? Guys, have any recommendations? And I'd like something that's good for your streaming, good for streaming and videos like this. And well, if you can think of anything, leave a comment down below. Uh, actually, while you while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Tell me if that works. Also, tell me if the like button works. Uh, you can do that by hitting that as well. Uh, also, also, does the share functioning work? It, let me know. Let me know by sharing this video. And, uh, well, and if it doesn't work, then, well, that's pretty screwy of YouTube and screwing their small creators again. Oh my gosh. Guys like my humming. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. I know you did. <sighs> I just spent uh, my entire afternoon and going and uh, going out and taking photos of some of my friend uh, and his girlfriend uh, and. Uh, That was a, that was a pretty fun time, man. I am, if you didn't know, I am a something of a something of a photographer, my something of a photographer. Like, like I, I've been doing photography for seven years now, and holy crap, that what a ride that has been. I mean, I started with a little Canon point and shoot camera and now I'm at I'm currently with a Canon um, Canon Rebel and T5 DSLR camera if you don't know what DSLR means it stands for digital single lens reflex and if you don't know what that means uh, well light passes through the lens of the camera the that light hits a um, hits a mirror and then the light rattles around the viewfind, or it bounces around the viewfinder a little bit, and then it, then when you look into the viewfinder, you see your image. So, yeah. Ugh. Fun stuff.
I also got some uh, some photos uh, and uh, black on uh, on black and white film. Like um, I'm very intrigued to see how those turn out. Like I really want those to turn to turn out well. Uh. But first and foremost, I have to finish up that roll of film. Gotta go shoot more photos then. Yay! More photos. More photos. I have to be honest though, I don't think I'd want to be a photographer for my career. Mainly because uh, everyone everyone nowadays has a has a camera and their phone uh, that they carry around and they carry it around with them. Uh, and believe it or not, phone cameras are actually pretty decent quality. Like, you can make a professional career from cell phone photography. If if there wasn't, if uh, photographers were more in demand, uh, then yeah, I'd I'd absolutely consider being a I'd absolutely be a photographer. I'd be a photographer in a heartbeat. But with the job market. Uh, perhaps I should stick to just making uh, gifts and selling photos on the side. Yeah. Believe it or not, I've made a couple do couple dollars doing that. Yeah, so Yeah, I've made a made a couple dollars, but not quite as much as I'd like. Um, but that's okay. This is it's a side hustle. It's not my main career. I don't want it to be my main career. I want this to be my main career. I want YouTube and, and streaming to be my main career. Someday. Someday I'll get there, but... Sadly, not today. You could really help me by subscribing and sharing my video. And leaving likes and comments. That would mean the world to me. Please help me. Please help me. My channel's just a child right now. I have it hasn't grown up yet. It's still in its infancy stage. Think of the children. <sighs> Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Alright. If you liked it, leave a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Links down below. Follow my main channel. Linked in, down below as well. Subscribe to my main channel. I just said that, but I'm saying it again. I'm also saying subscribe to this channel again. And keep gaming.